if you are watching this on YouTube, make sure you're subscribed and hitting that bell because you know what? My channel is in the dumps and nobody's seeing my videos. I blame YouTube. So make sure you're hitting that bell, everybody. Okay, so this is, wait, this is from, what is this from? Beyond Magnetic? Uh, oh, Dado, thank you so much for that song. Beyond Magnetic. How many songs are on here? Played this live. Norwegian usually knows. Norwegian Herring is our resident uh, Metallica master. Whoa! Tiny T accusing Ken? Wait, where's the alerts? Where's the alerts? That was supposed to be our St. Anger alert. Oh my god. Oh, suck on the barrel. I know this one. Suck on the barrel. Suck on the barrel. Ah, oh, James Hetfield talking about sucking. Yeah, it's that one. Tiny Tina, thank you for the five gifted subs. Or ten. Also, 70 zero gifted five. This riff is pretty good. I find the vocals at this part like sound almost out of tune. You know, here. Or the part where he goes. Maybe we'll put this one on YouTube. There was somebody who said they don't watch my YouTube videos anymore because I talk too much in my videos. Honestly, reading something like that just makes me want to talk to the, the audience more. Well, I want to listen to a song. No, you know, I'll just go watch Shooting Brain. Should I listen to it on Spotify? No, I'll just watch TV. Yeah, that part. Can somebody do it just to pull it away, but it's only sucking the barrel? Suck on the barrel, suck on the barrel, suck on the barrel, suck on the barrel. Do a barrel roll! What? Oh no, the barrel's dry. That's why the song went mellow.
Dave Mustaine actually wrote this song. I gotta say, this is one of the most interesting leads, though, from the last couple albums. I know I'm planted, but that part is really good. Like, I know I was kind of fucking around, but that song was uh, pretty, pretty good. Yeah, my only complaint is like <laughs> those lyrics are suck on the barrel, suck on the barrel. I, I think that part's a little bit. Uh, Hetfield phoned it in on the later albums. Dude, I don't know what you're talking about because Hetfield's voice on 72 seasons sounds fucking phenomenal. So, yeah, I don't know if those were B-sides or like not, you know what I mean, like rough recordings or demos. But uh, I, that one vocal melody sounds like like an idea that was like a rough draft and then they kind of left it. Kind of makes you question Hetfield's legacy. Oh my God, don't remind me about that. 